Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about something which is very very important, a topic that is related to all of us individually and collectively as a whole. So uh, this was released May 3rd, 2023. So this is a brand new topic for all of us to think about this year when the Surgeon General Vivek Murthy introduced this idea that the epidemic of loneliness. Look at the choice of words that he's using. He's calling loneliness as an epidemic of loneliness and isolation in the United States. So he says that uh, there are physical and psychological consequences for the isolation that we are feeling as a nation. So how did we get here? Let us get right into it. Um, this one is uh, on the website, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. What they did was Vivek Murthy actually comes up with an amazing 82 page advisory talking about the various effects and what we can do as public and along with the help of policy from the government, what can we do to reestablish the social connection that makes up the fabric of our life. Because uh, just think about it, what is the definition of me as an individual if there is no context of others? So if I achieve something, if I do something, if I contribute something, so if I win something, I would like the acknowledgement of my friends or my loved ones. So only in the context of others, we see ourselves as a productive, happy, um, social human being. So it's it's just amazing this this is filled with all kinds of information he actually begins with you know what why do we even have to talk about this topic how did it become an epidemic and uh, to give you a clue here about what he's talking about wall street journal has concised it for us uh, in a way that it explains to us let me show you something i highlighted here so what covid did is really pour fuel on a fire that was already burning I want the entire country to understand how profound a public health threat, loneliness and isolation pose. So he talks about with, an, with a sense of urgency here and he has given many, many interviews that you can find on the internet. The point is we ourselves have to rethink how we um, interact with our co-workers, our friends, our neighbors, our relatives, our loved ones. And we also have to teach our children how to build healthy relationships. So there is a graphic that I'm going to show you, um, which meetup.com has created. It's just so staggering. I don't know if this is coinciding with our digital revolution where, um, you know, Sherry Turkle calls it being alone together, right? So we are all together at one place, but we are alone with our own devices in our hands. Um, so time spent with friends declined 20 hours a month between 2003 and 2020. Can you imagine 20 hours a month? Um, and this is what the advisory, it has so much of research. I will put the link up here um, on the site, but it's just something um, that I highly recommend you go through and try to uh, look around you if there are any family or friends or anybody you know who are exhibiting these signs of extreme loneliness around you um, you know because you can believe it or not an individual like you can become a support system for those who are struggling so let me show you so there is this video that i okay i'll post all these links but the point is here loneliness is reported to increase the risk of premature death so he says not just psychological consequences of us, you know, having, oh, I'm just having a bad day. It's just a bad week. You know, I, I don't have any friends around me. It's not just that nagging bad feeling. It is actually something that is physical that we'll end up, uh, you know, facing if we don't address it quickly. It results in premature death by almost 30%. And this is all research based. If you would like to check out the links in detail. But let's move on to now the mental health effects of what is going to happen if we experience chronic prolonged loneliness. So there is this link here um, by PBS News Hour. Uh, so what he says is discusses the health risks of loneliness and steps to help connect with others. 
So this is also once again a great interview. I uh, just want to highlight one thing. So it's more than just a bad feeling. It has real consequences for our mental and physical health. It increases our risk of depression, anxiety and suicide. Because, you know, again, if you don't see yourself in the context of others, you kind of experience a sense of meaninglessness because you know, there's nobody to appreciate you. There's nobody to reciprocate your love and the affection that you feel. It's just a pathway to lead you into severe depression and anxiety and eventually, uh, you know, you start uh, ideating suicide. So this is okay. So I love this uh, meetup.com. Um, again, guys, so whatever links I talk about, I don't receive any en endorsement deals from them or anything. I just use whatever I feel like um, have helped me in the past and I would like to share the information that I have. So here meetup.com is where some, I have met some of my very good friends now uh, here in Atlanta. You know, what they say right 8000 miles away from my homeland india i have met people that i would have never met otherwise um if not for websites like this and apps where you get uh, to meet people who are hikers like you um who like to walk you know there, there's so many things that you can be doing i also met a, a very cute meetup group uh, in barnes and nobles once uh, where they were a knitting club uh, of course i used to go hang out with them once in a while but i would just not knit i would just look at their uh, knitting and there were a bunch of nice uh, sweet old ladies it was so cute um Okay, so the point is the Surgeon General is calling loneliness an epidemic. How do we solve it? So Meetup um, obviously is a great, it's doing a great thing by talking about it because obviously it's their bottom line if people get together um, using their site. So more power to them. The, the point I was talking about earlier about this statistic, a decrease of 20 hours per month in social engagement with friends non-household family social engagement everything is in decline can you imagine two decades can make such a difference and we are humans we are social animals to begin with and this is just a sad state of affairs here let me go i wanted to show you a couple of things that they are talking about so i like this point about them talking about to reconnect with someone you already know so i have so many ex-co-workers i have so many friends you know who have just drifted who have just left town who have moved away you know so many things right but just giving them a call just checking on them just i just love this idea so the next thing is obviously meeting new people and making new friendships so i attend a book club uh, not just in our neighborhood but outside of our neighborhood where i uh, feel like you know, the, all these people are into reading, all these people are, you know, are ready to give a shot uh, with all these French novels or Senegalese novels or German novels. And I'm just so excited to uh, take that chance with like minded people. So please just just look at these articles that I've posted here. And one more thing, uh, see, he talks about the public policy. So America has a loneliness epidemic and here six steps to address it. So NPR has this beautiful article where they talk about, again, um, look at this poor connection. Consequences of poor connections are 29% increased risk of heart disease, 32% increased risk of stroke and 50% increased risk of developing dementia. It's, uh, but look at what they suggest, strengthening social infrastructure. Okay, like libraries and any public places, creating free events where people can socialize, meet like-minded people, public transportation, and also, you know, getting the medical um, infrastructure in line with what we are struggling with and creating, generating, deepening our knowledge, creating awareness and cultivating a culture of connection. Critically evaluating our relationship with technology. I just cannot overstate the importance of this. And what has happened in the last 20 years is a testament to what is what technology is doing to us. So time to think about it. Um, thank you so much for listening. Bye.